What's up guys, I'm going to share with you my three biggest takeaways from this week's conference, so let's get right into it. First thing is how to build your personal brand, and that was the part I was waiting the most for because obviously now that I'm going to be by myself, I'm going to coach online, I really wanted to know how to build my personal brand because I feel like I was lacking this part for the last couple of years, even though I was already coaching, I was working for Quantum, I didn't really put enough effort, I would say, in my personal brand and I was just posting videos and photos here and there but nothing really serious and that really hurt me and now I'm realizing that because obviously like I said I have to do my marketing my sales so now that there's nobody doing it for me I realize that clients are not just gonna come my way and just book a call with me just for no reason so I really have to build my own personal brand and something really cool that stayed with me was to have three uniqueness about yourself Three things that you're going to be using online to really market yourself and really show who you really are because especially nowadays with social media a lot of people they just follow what other people other influencers do online and there's nothing wrong with that but if it's not really you it's probably not the best idea to do it at the end of the day you really want to be yourself and that's what people are going to fall in love with that's why people are going to reach out to you because they can relate to you relate to your story and just really feel like they have a connection with you even though they don't know you yet they can get a glimpse of it by sharing your three uniqueness and that's something i'm gonna start applying right away the second thing is about sharing your story and the power behind it because obviously we all have our own personal stories nobody has the same story as us so that's why it's so powerful to use because People can relate to your story, they can see the struggle you went through. It really helps them to get to know you because obviously what they're gonna see online is just your Instagram or your Facebook profile. They're gonna see your name, your title and what you do but they don't really know who's the person behind this page. And people wanna know that kind of stuff, especially if they wanna work with you, they wanna be coached by you. They're gonna look for information to get to know you and if they can't relate to you with your personal story then they probably won't reach out to you. So this is one of the reasons why it's so powerful to use our personal story. And this part of the conference was given by Ray, who's Jacob's coach right now for storytelling, public speaking. So it was really cool because obviously this guy is really great at it. He's been doing it for years and he's actually coaching people, like I said. So it was really cool to have his experience and just to learn from him. And he talked to us about different things like the elevator pitch and different things like that because when you meet someone and you want to let them know what you do you don't want to take 15 minutes to explain what you actually do you want to be able to let the other person in front of you know what you do in 30 60 second max and that's another thing i really enjoyed he shared with us the third and last thing is to have systems for everything that you do whether it's for creating youtube videos creating content for instagram hiring someone creating programs for your clients anything that you do you want to have a system in place because it's going to save you so much time and let's say you hire someone in the future and you want them to do a task let's say it's creating your content or anything like that then you can just end out the system and they're gonna know what to do they won't have to learn everything by themselves so it's gonna save you a lot of time a lot of money and a lot of headaches in the future so that is why i'm gonna start implementing systems into everything that i do with work so i make sure that i save as much time as possible and i'm gonna be more efficient with everything that i do and i can create better content as well for you guys so these are my three biggest takeaways obviously there was a lot more stuff that we discussed but i really wanted to narrow it down to three and i really wanted to share more clips with you guys but i forgot my batteries at the gym i did the photo shoot last week so i could only film a few clips of a few seconds and that's it and we actually went snowshoeing thursday night it was a lot of fun we had a great time we had dinner at the top of the mountain a few drinks so it was a lot of fun especially on the way down because some people had a little bit too much wine and too much food so we had a good laugh and honestly i can't wait for the next event i'm gonna bring my camera if i'm going obviously because i don't know if i'm gonna be the one filming next time but if i am i'll make sure to bring you with me and i'll bring my batteries this time so i'm gonna end it right here guys hopefully you learned something and if you did just make sure to write it in the comment section and stay tuned for the episode of next week because tomorrow morning i'm going to quebec city for a workout and a podcast with some friends and I'm gonna film our workout. It's gonna be my first time at this gym and it's a powerlifting gym and they have a lot of cool equipment so I can't wait to see what we're gonna do and I'll make sure to share the link for the podcast in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.